companies who are now quote unquote supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, but the companies who are like this has exposed these companies who are Trump supporters, but or they donate to his campaign, whatever you want to say. Uh, these are there's a lot of companies that people love and that these companies claim to uh, support Black Lives Matter, which I, I'm a firm believer in. You can you can do both. You can you could be a Trump supporter and not be a racist because you believe what the guy says as far as uh, whatever little bit of politics he says, like whatever you want to believe. Like the guy's a wild fucking kid. I mean, if you talk to any accountant, they'll tell you if you're wealthy, if you're a wealthy man, woman, any race, the best thing for you to do if you're as a registered voter is to vote Republican because right. they're gonna they're gonna their policies are in the best right for the wealthy American you know less taxes keep the keep you keep the rich rich keep the poor poor so i mean sometimes it's not even really about emotional shit it's just if you're wealthy and like i say a lot of black wealthy people vote republican they just don't yep. say it yeah they don't say they're, it Charles but they, they're letting you know they're letting you know with those comments about like oh stealing from gucci and lock oh, yeah. these animals up they let you know what they actually is because a lot of them vote sounds very republicanish Michael Jordan just donated a hundred million dollars and spread it out, but he was a Republican. He's been a Republican for years. He used to donate yeah. to prison. You know, so I mean, that's that's just in their best interest that people with money are gonna do that. They're gonna vote Republican because that's what makes sense. That is that is what what happens. But like I said, I I, I believe that you can't like it. It sounds crazy, and people would probably yeah. want to tear me up for it. But I do believe that you can like both sides. You can. Be a supporter of both sides it doesn't mean that you necessarily are married to either side of it but you're just like look i just want to live in a, a place where i can keep making money and nobody gets hurt that's all i want unless you're candace owens oh man you want to i want to save her for last i want to save her <laughs> for last we're gonna we're gonna definitely get into candace owens you already know uh, but um so there are companies who are speaking out now um, in support of Black Lives Matter. And it made me wonder, like, are they just doing it for the PR look or are they really about that life? PR. Do you think so? Yeah, you got to show me more than just one statement. You know what I mean? I just right. know this people. I'm not, I, got, I got trust issues and you got to really put your money where your fucking mouth is. Anybody can get their secretary to write up a PR statement. But right. until you put money where your mouth is and do something about it and stay consistent with it, because right now that's, it's like a trend. It's like social media, you know, the trend right now is we all love black people and we all fuck with black folks. And I'm like, well, two weeks ago, this- Two weeks ago, you ain't even care. Yeah, two weeks ago, black people were the number one race dying from COVID-19 and there was no news footage. They weren't talking about that on the news. Right. You know, so I don't really know what to think about some of this shit. Some of this shit is just fake wokeness and some of it is just people just want to be a part of something. It's like a big trending topic. It's a trend. Yeah, like you see a lot of, uh, uh, as they call them, social media influencers getting busted for just like pulling up for the photo op with like a little pro uh, a picket sign and they just mm. step out in the street in front of the fucking crowd, take a picture, then hop in their bins and go. Wow. <laughs> Who did that? A couple of white girls. I mean, no surprise, a little Becky's. But the um the twitter C ceo um he donated 3 million dollars to Kaepernick's know your rights camp so would he you say that black, black twitter has kept twitter alive for, for a long time like when i got on there in the beginning it wasn't even called black twitter but we kind of like built that whole you know that whole platform up shit black twitter runs oh, yeah. twitter at least you could fucking do is pay your dues and give niggas money yeah. back yeah put some back in the community what about um Serena Williams' husband. I can't pr pronounce that nigga's last name. His first name is Alex, though. I'm gonna call him Mike. Alex Serena Williams. Um, the, oh, he's he a, got her last name? He might as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah, his wife is the man, right? Yeah, not the man. <laughs> she is that, you know. She's but, a yeah, she, she, she's, I mean, he's obviously richer, but she's the more popular person. And, you know, that's no disrespect to them because I don't, I don't really know the guy, but he's the co-founder of Reddit. Now he resigned from the board and he asked for his seat to be filled with a black candidate. Okay. What do you say to that? Well, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if you're going to marry a white guy, the least you could do is make sure that he 
does something for the community, shit, I gotta give her the props for that. If if she could get her husband to pass down some uh, big opportunities off like that, that's cool. I didn't know her husband uh, with Reddick, though. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was like the big um, thing. Like when she when she married him, or when she got with, I think when she married him, everybody was like, "Yeah, go Serena." Da, 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 da. And I got into it with a few people because I was like, "Damn, y'all are cheering Serena on for marrying a white man, a rich white man." But when a black man does it, oh yeah, it's all shit. hell break. You he know, a, a, a rich, a, a billionaire. billionaire. Yeah. Everyone. Go girl, get the bag now. Let somebody let let a, what if LeBron was married to one of these white bitches? Oh my god, they used yeah. to give they used to give Kobe a lot of hate for the Vanessa back in the early yeah. days. You know, oh, his yeah. fans didn't even fuck with him because of that shit. But it's, just, it's funny how now that he ain't here, oh, oh it's nothing but love for his wife. You know what I'm saying? Like people are mad phony. People used to be like, oh, she's a gold digger. You can tell his father and them didn't like her. The word right. is. They, and the funeral, I ain't gonna get into all that, but you know, they definitely wasn't feeling Vanessa. But yeah, you're right. It is a, a double standard. Like we can't date white girls, but they could. Black girls could date successful white men and get the applause. Right. And everybody, everybody's upset at that. I, I, I want to just stay there for a second, like we just a quick second, because this, this is something real close to me. Um, because people fail to realize that, like, when that man married that woman. That's his life. His parents might have had somebody that they thought he should have married, but dude, you're my parents. You brought me into this world. Yeah. But I don't owe you a goddamn thing. And I hate that we as black people feel like we have to put up with our parents' toxic behavior because they brought us into this world. Mm-hmm. Don't. You don't owe them anything. Like, look, I'll do what I can do for you, but if you're going to be toxic and be upset with me about the choices that I make in my life when I've made myself successful and I'm here, like, yeah, you guys helped me get here. I'll give you nothing but credit. But you can't just think because I got here that all of a sudden now I have to follow yours. And, you know, there are a lot of black people who believe that, oh, he should have he went with what his parents said. No. Who's to say... But who's to say if he would have followed what his parents said and been the Kobe Bryant that we know today? Yeah. Yeah, the work ethic comes from his father. and uh, But then again, right. you go look at it two different ways because, I mean, Michael Jordan was just close to not going to that Nike meeting and his mother told him to go. She made him right. go. And it's, like, if he didn't go, but, that, that's the whole fucking thing. Right, but he had – his mother told him about a business deal. Mm-hmm. His parents was trying to tell him – who to have on his arm, who yeah. to put in his bed. A lot of you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I wouldn't just do that because no one can tell you, you know what I mean? That's your, who you're going to be with. That's your happiness is on the line. But, you know, you, right. Yeah, and so, want to be with. And, and, you know, and people are probably going to like not like what I say, but if his parents weren't there, that might have been his wishes. He, they might have like not even settled whatever their issues were before he passed away i don't know i'm just saying this that's a possibility and people have to understand that your parents are human beings they're people too Mm -hmm. but if they're toxic and they don't bring any sort of happiness to your life and they're bitter at you for the choices that you made and you end up successful and you're you're happy in life i don't care if you're successful or not but if you're happy and they feel a way about it you don't owe them anything you have a right to cut them off. They're people too. And we as black people, we got to stop accepting toxic behavior from our parents just because they are our parents. And, all right, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been wanting to say that for a while because people, you know, I, I like... You it before, somewhere. Yeah, I've, I've, I've probably mentioned it before too. Um, all right, so other companies like Netflix, Virgin USA CEO, um, Richard... Bronson or whatever, and Nike have all came out to show their solidarity. Even fucking Apple Music on uh, Blackout Tuesday, um, when you hit the browse button, it took you, they played nothing but um, conscious, uh, spiritual black hip hop and and, uh, R&B joints. I clicked on that. I think there was a common song playing. I was like, oh, Apple Music, they they trying to do their thing. But once again, are these people really down for the cause or are they just doing it to save face? Yeah, exactly. That's that's the question. 
because who is it? Jeff Bezos. He he um, the Shade Room posted a um, his uh, Instagram situation. He, some some lady emailed him because you know Amazon has a banner on their site that says you know Black Lives Matter. We stand in solidarity. Blah blah blah. And some lady emailed him, probably a Karen, emailed him and was like, you know, more than black people support you and it's not right to say that black lives matter and da 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 this and the third, right? You know that whole spill. I don't even, all of those emails are pretty much the same at this point. And, excuse me, he basically came back and told her the same thing that everybody's saying. It's not about saying that black lives matter more than yours. But look at what's going on in the world. Look at what's going on in America. It's sad that we have to say, we have to tell people that these lives matter. Do you know? And everybody was like, oh, applaud that man. But is that a PR stunt? Is that him trying to save face? So we don't it might go. Be genuine to the space. Because like I said, he broke it down. And right. That you know, 400 years old pressure. I mean, they programmed America to not care about black folks. So. Mm -hmm. Now, if he didn't say anything, that would look more like PR. But all he did was just put the banner up and never responded to any emails. Right. On the other side of that, before we leave this, um, you know how everybody's saying, oh, they, they only respect our money. So if these companies are making these statements to let, us, to let us know, like, hey, I still want your dollar, you know, is that what we want or do we want more from them? Um, what I want, I mean, this, when, most of us are not going to stop, don't have the discipline or the resources to shop elsewhere anyway. Um, My niggas ain't going to stop buying Jordans. Exactly. Jordan uh, even said, fuck them kids that got yeah. killed at, at a sneaker release. I mean, uh, uh, allegedly, I don't know if he said statement. that or not. It's one thing to make a statement and, you know, maybe a couple donations or whatever. But after that, that's it. Like I say, I'm not really out here asking for white people to feel sorry for me or to feel sorry for us. You can never um, apologize enough to replace 400 years of oppression. Just treat people on the same level and treat everybody equal. That's really all we want. I don't think most of us is out here really wanting revenge. You can't revenge 400 years. Right. I mean, it's too much revenge that's really at stake. So just treat us equally and treat us. When I go into a store, don't fucking send two, three people looking at me because you think I might steal something. You know what I mean? Just equal right. maybe all I'm looking for. I'm not asking for white folks to kiss my ass or to, uh, you know, roll a red carpet out for us. I think that's ridiculous. Just treat people like, you know, treat us the way y'all treat yourselves. You know, that's I all. Agree. I don't think you really, you know, they're gonna, how many times can you apologize? True. And that's the other thing too. If you keep apologizing, it doesn't even look sincere. It just looks like you're saying, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you know, when you're a kid and you get caught doing something, you go, oh, I'm sorry. Every time your parents catch you and if they don't freaking discipline you, all you're going to do is keep saying, I'm sorry. You're not going to learn your lesson from it. And not to say that these companies have a lesson to learn, but they, they kind of do because we spend a lot of money. We keep this economy where it is. We spend the most money as black least, people yeah. make the least. So the least y'all can do is be like, yo, stop killing our fucking customers. <laughs> like, come on, like that. And that's why I'm like, all right, is it a PR stunt or is it really truth? Because are they trying to say, yo, I really value the black dollar, so let's stop doing this. But this right here, everything that's going on right now is just the first step into a step of many because after you know, injustice and prejudice and racism. Once we tackle that, if you know, we probably might never erase it, but once we tackle that, the next one is uh, education, healthcare, housing, employment, like to make it clear all across the board. Mm -hmm. We gotta get that not guilty verdict first though. That is first. So we, 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 we'll keep you guys uh, abreast on that and, um, and more in, in, in this whole situation, because I feel like we haven't heard the end of it. And it is our duty as, you know, within our name, ghetto correspondents, like we have to talk to the people on the ground. Like I'm not expecting celebrities to watch this video and be like, oh, yeah, I agree with them. No, I want I, I want to talk to the everyday Joe, the working class hero, the, the father, 
you know, of the the kids that he's got to put through school and the mom that's, you know, out there doing it on her own. Like, he's a child support. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about child support right now. This is everybody. This is with all of them. 